I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found the paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. I will go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Eivor. Basim has news of Sigurd. I should find him soon. Dag, Basim has brought word of Sigurd's location. We're leaving at once to find him. Well done, Eivor. After so long, it finally occurs to you to search for our Jarl. I applaud your half-hearted effort, but I will not be joining you. Dag, this is no joke. On the ship, now. Someone needs to stay home and direct the affairs of the settlement. As you seem to shun this place as often as possible, it must fall to me. Sigurd's life is at stake. We need you there. No, I am needed here. Do you doubt me so completely that you will not raise an axe to save your Jarl? A fine way of putting it, Wolfkist. But go, find the Jarl, bring him back. Only do not get lost along the way, as you seem to more and more these days. This is not done, Dag. We will speak when I return. Spread your wings. <laughs> Did not Augustine make a distinction with what I mean to say is faith is paramount. Yes. For without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve. Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. No, I mean, that is too simplistic. Or the priest, whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hortbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. What happened in Mercia still puzzles me. Fulke saw something in Sigurd. A power, a legacy. What is it she wants? Her motives are difficult to fathom, but that can come later. Let's find your brother first. Agreed. If we do this, you'll earn the right to call me friend ten thousandfold. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend. Abbot Cunibert. Full of pious fire. But with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come. I will introduce you. And we'll hear the full tale together. A 
Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basim? I am always at peace, and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty, the Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a princess than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition. But it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important. And I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Bassam says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. If you know where Fulke is, do not rattle my bucket. Tell me now and we'll talk terms later. The hot-tempered one stirs up strife, Basim. Will this rebellion cake Dane do what I ask? Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our alderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which Thane has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him, before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The King's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new Elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the Thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. If we do this, how will you find Fulke? I want some kind of assurance. Do you have ears in every church, abbey, and cathedral in Kent? Because I do. And I will find her. And we will do the deeds to staining for a Christian soul. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenstone has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you in Falkenstein.
Alfred's emissary spend a few days here. Someone may know where he went. What can I tempt you with? Until next we meet. Leaving already? Shame. I must take my leave. So long. You tried to catch flies, or would you ask something of me? I'm looking for a man. He passed through here on the king's business. No, bugger off here, or I'll call the guards. I'm sick of people. You need to heal your own ills. Maybe some coin will lose your lips. A wise move, Mudwit. It so happens I did see Alfred's man. He's long gone, though. Maybe Gowan the Bard knows where. Where will I find him? Well, he was pissed as a newt. Last I saw, he was passed out in trees between the arbor and bridge. Oh, now go find someone else to vex. There was a Bard drinking with the emissary. I should find him. See if he knows anything. Surveying the area, Sudan. That eel swamped scarf can't have gone far. What see you, old friend? Oh, my troops! You there. You're alive. <laughs> Patience is a tired horse. Plodity plod plod. <laughs> Another tottering teat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. <laughs> Ow! Why do you smite me so? Ugh. God's truce! Fire on you! Oh, what infernal wakes me? I'm the one you sing of, Bard. Stern of eye and scanned of mercy. Have you not seen the ravens feasting in my wake? Enough! Your word mangles are making my hair ache. You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale-addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might help me recall? No one would drown themselves in weeping with one less bard in the world. Tell me what you know. You Danes aren't much for bargaining, are you? He was heading for the white coast to the southeast. Dover Fortress. My thanks. And in return, wisdom. Too much beer-bibing will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, weaver of the obvious. Now leave me to my unholy punishment. The emissary made for Dover Fortress on the southeast coast. This place is heavily guarded. If I could steal the letter without killing the emissary, it would keep me out of trouble.
Alfred's chosen elderman is a thane called Tetmund. The abbot Cunebert will want to know. I should meet Bassam and the abbot in Falkenstern. brews the best in Kent. It certainly sounds worth the risk of my immortal soul. Ah! Your god is rather a hard taskmaster. And your god forbids the mixing of wool and linen. It sounds to me like he's never heard of England. <laughs> Not all that is written in the scriptures is God's honest truth. Are you... Eivor, you have news? Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rue Sister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tetman must owe you something. Such as his life. Go on. A fortress stormed. A man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Are you hiding something, Basim? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumber yard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. But your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. Time, I'm telling you, if he says my boots are dirty or my hair needs combing, I will split him up. <laughs> I'm wary of this abbot, Bassem. He is self serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the Frog. The Frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the Scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess. The Scorpion reneges blaming his nature, and both drown. The scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes, many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Volke, he will die at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. See me, this will get messy. Watch my lead. Bemisfield is just ahead.
I hope this chase will catch us a plump hen. Once the abbot has Tedman's gratitude, he will deliver both. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that let... You prefer to be the still than go to hell. to work in the shadows. If that leaden wit keeps his word. Guards here are vigilant.
Stop caterwauling and you'll live. Live? Oh, saints protect me! Silence will save you, Tedmund. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows? And so we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels. We hide in plain sight. Such is our way. But only until the moment of success, the final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet, as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of Secret's absence? Hmm. You see my point. A leader must know when to speak and when to stay silent. For silence is not always a lie. It can feel like one. Halt, Danes! In the name of Alfred, King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject <gasps> into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please, I I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood, I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly, or I will slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar! Uh, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedman pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar? You are far from Augustine's priory. Uh, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. You have no use to us, then. Perhaps I should just kill you here and now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Let, let, let me think, let me think. Oh, Danes! T -t to storm the walls, you need Danes. Th there's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I acting as Tetmund, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Rusester. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first, I, I am still Tedman to the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nordnir knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Rusester was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We'll send word when we're ready to capture Tedman. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. He'll come with us. And if he betrays me, I'll roast his balls over a roaring fire. You, you, you will not regret this. My wily ways and quick wit will cease the need for bloodshed. I still might kill you yet, man. If your prattling doesn't cease. The rewards for being Tedmund are rapidly diminishing. And how does one become a double? Are there vigorous challenges and tests to overcome? I was born with the misfortune of looking like someone else. I should have stayed on God's chosen path. What took you from it? I'm the seventh son of a poor farmer, and not wanting another mouth to feed, my father gave me to the monks. The cloistered life did not suit you? I thought there would be great comfort in repetition, but instead I found nothing but prayer and backbreaking toil. The Norns weave strange destinies. Now your life depends on the story you weave for yourself. I'm not a good forgery. Still tears from lead and my hands sweat and I have a stutter when I'm nervous, but, but I will try. <laughs> ah, the cornerstone of all great art. The captain does not know Tedman well. If we keep our heads, he will not question my orders. I hope. <laughs> Those who remain must be saved, whatever the cost. Let us approach the captain with caution. He drinks too much and does not need a reason to kill us. 
Yes, it is I, Thane Tedmund, coming to discuss the orders I gave to you not one day ago. This handbook will get us all killed. Oi! Let us free, you festering canker on a salsars! Pipe down, you dogs! You slaves of Kent now! Say, Tedman, what are you doing here? How dare you address me in such a defiant manner? Do you not know who I am? You are Tedmund, as I've said. And I mean no disrespect, Lord, but I was told you were back in Rue, sister. Oh, yes? And, 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 and do I... Do, do I look like I'm in Rue, sister? You, uh, do not, sir. A wise man is always unexpected. You travel in strange company, Lord. An Arab and a Dane. I'm here to advise your thane in the ways of my people. That, that is correct. A cultural exchange of sorts. Perhaps one day I will visit your... Uh, D Dane... Daneland. Norway. You mistake me for a foreigner. But are we not all just the measure of the places we've seen? Right. Well, that aside, have you any further orders, Lord? Yes. Yes. I order, I order you to stop loitering and return to your barracks, you scabwit. And what of the captured Danes? You must kill them all! Every last... Sorry, no. Uh, leave them here, tied up, as a... As a feast for wolves and crows. That is all, you may depart. Shoot! A convincing ruse that has earned you your freedom. Go, and make your life anew, not in another man's boots. I will. This small sup of power has got me thinking. Perhaps I could be a l leader of men. Yes, yes! Hurry along, men! Warm thighs and ale! Tied up like animals. I need to free them. Thank you. Thank you so much, friend. We owe you our lives, friend. These Saxon whoresons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to hit back. March with us on Rusester and drain it of riches. I will gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron-thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercy, I will heed the call. Gidrich will provide our Viking a horde. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored upriver. But a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I will remove it. And your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Gidrich and the men of Oxenifordshire will need them to hide their mercy and origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. They will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning, you will go to Buckingham, remind Gidrich of his promise. When you have his bond, meet me on the shore near Rusesta with the ships. Ah, uh, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I will tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. You've traveled so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a hidden one? 
Always on the move? Yeah. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Red. <laughs> For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even Hytham? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have... I would have... There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> they bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I was not so lucky. I had a son. I miss him terribly, even now. I am sorry. As him. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend. A mentor. A man who I would trust with anything. But a man you trust with anything can take everything. says there will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. Clear this fort and break this chain to... This chain to get our ships safely up river. Yeah. 
need to clear this fort and break this chain to get our ships safely upriver. The mechanism should be inside. Chain down, Gidrich and the ships can get through. Wait your orders. You brought your weapons and armor. Aye, Raven Tamer. Good. Now we dig in and wait for our friends. Well met, old friend. When the chance arrived to lodge an axe in the sod of Wessex, you thought of me. Such an honor. Is everything else in place, Eivor? Are we ready to take Rusas then? Rally our army. We will drag this mouse from his hole.
is holed up in the tower keep. Press forward!
Higher up for a way inside. army will smear your innards across the battlements. We are not here for stone and sand, Thane Tedmund. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! 
I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised! If riches are all you care about, the Church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Stay quiet, or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Ah! Watch yourself, heathen! You handle me too roughly! You will die for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane! I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me, nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates, kill my men for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor! Enough! Or I'll return you to the Saxons with ten fewer fingers. And go, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ's slave. Twenty chests of silver! Give them all they ask, Kinnebert! A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow? I cannot give it up without some assurance. Edmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? Air! I need... I need air! He's dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no! Rouse the man! He cannot be dead! He must not be dead! Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war, as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find Fulke ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunebert's abbey. You fought like beasts, escaped from your hell today, Giedrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangle briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing, with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. It's off limits. Too quiet here. Where are the brothers or the abbot's men? I would say well met, brother, 
But I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Cunebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tetman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Cunebert, your guests have arrived. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her. And we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders. Wasted flesh. Not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real and their power is within our grasp. <laughs> you will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it cloves I taste? Well, that concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out.
Fouquet let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did. And with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be. But it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come. Let us dive into the maw of death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. This land of summer, mists and forests, dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England. All of it. And yet it rounds on us at every turn, snarling like a cornered dog. I begin to despair of ever settling here. Perhaps the stars write your path, and you will never have a home here. Do you miss the land of your birth? I have long been away. But it is fiercely beautiful beneath the vanity, arrogance, and pettiness of men. I should like to see it. You could if you wish. My father was an architect, a builder of wonders. The great mosque of Samara, his masterpiece. Another man, who played the caliphate's game better to the credit. He was exiled, and died in poverty. Your faith sours. What of loyalty? Shared stories round the hearth. Warm nights, bodies, and the tender love of another. There are some who are worthy. A scant few that tower above the solid mass. Men and women of vision and valor. Sigurd is one such man. He is. Fulke isn't wrong on that score. I fear for him, Basim. I cannot rest until he's safe. Nor will I, my friend. The practice of learning has waned considerably in England since the days of the Romans. What books they still have, they keep locked away in their churches, hidden from the eyes of common folk. Thralls and Geralds cannot read. What would be the point? They could learn. The church could teach them. So much of human history would be open to them. Aristotle, Pythagoras, Euclid, ancient knowledge lost to all but a few hard-headed men of the cloth. You have studied these works yourself? In my youth, I was consumed with a passion for understanding. I spent many hours a day in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. A seminary? A great library, full of the greatest learning of mankind. For a boy seeking answers, it holds many riches. One day, I was sitting cross-legged, devouring a study by the great astronomer al Khwarizmi. With the swiftness belying his years, the papers were plucked from my grasp by the great man himself. His presence stole my voice. He was kind and open-hearted. He showed me such scientific wonders. His presence stole my voice. He was kind and open-hearted. He showed me such scientific wonders. And what did you learn there? Calendars and calculations placing the sun, moon, and five planets. Equations that crackled. and sparkled with divine intelligence. I asked the great man, is this what it is to know God? You saw your God's hand in the rooms. I found wisdom, and I have been searching for more ever since. There is great vastness outside ourselves, Eivor. Most only notice a few grains of sand. But some, like Sigurd, I believe, see the endless flow of the hourglass. What you see in Sigurd, is this what Fulke sees as well? I believe it is. We will find no friends in Canterbury, so try not to draw attention. This place reeks of the piety of priests. This land of summer, mists and forests, dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England, all of it. And... This place swarms with Fulke's people, Sigurd, well guarded. 
Caution and subtlety should be our path. Ready? Follow me. Best not to draw attention here. This is a trap. Why would Fulke give us her sanctum? She baits us. Cocksure and arrogant. But she cannot see failure in a path. Whatever we find there, keep your head. You chastise me like a child, Basim. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your whole head. You have much to do in this life. I know it. More riddles, sly tongue. No riddles. Your destiny is not to stain the stones of this godhouse with your blood. Hey! Can't do this alone! If she's still here, I will burn this Christ house to the ground. Guards! To arms! Some kind of trouble. To arms, Basin! So we are to in like an ox. This must be the way to Fulke's Sanctum. Then let us go. of her. Help me, Basil. Sigurd is within. Fulke! I'm here! Face me! Have a care, Aiden. You will play into her hands. What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? Tell me that you found something. Anything we can use! I may have. A fortress in Sussex. The order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time.
Anything else? Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. <sighs> if he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim, she severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tedman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. Sigurd. He... he is alive. But not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Ranvi. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor. We deserve the truth. I need to speak with Ranvi. Step aside, now. You never found him. Because you didn't look. <clears throat> I see you, Eivor. I know what you are. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Fulke, she... she slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances. Remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Radri. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods, 